So let's say, yeah. let's say an idea comes into your brain and you're like, oh, here's this idea in my brain. Like, what's the process like for you when you look at something that's, you know, whether it could be a big decision or a small little decision, like wh- how does your brain process that as like, am I going to execute? Am I going to do this right away? Am I going to delegate this? Am I going to just say, I'm not going to do this at all? Am I going to do it later? Like, what would that process be like? Because I know just recently, for example, um, you guys did some stuff with the kids' vitamins, right? So it's like that idea comes yeah. into your, your mind. Like, what was the process like for that, I guess? Or, you know, just anything in your life? Uh, so I, I think it's important to have a system. There's a great book called Getting Things Done that I read probably 10 years ago. Um, it gives you a system that you can apply to um, whatever piece of technology you have, right? Like I use iNotes because I'm a, I'm a Mac guy. It's, so I can take notes on my cell phone. It just updates on my iPad, right. my, my Mac, my MacBook. So I have a system in place, my to-do list, my short-term goals, my long-term goals, books I want to read, movies I want to watch, and um, great ideas, right? Like book ideas, story ideas, business ideas. I have it all organized. The beauty of having a system like this is it dumps all of this stuff out of your head, right? Like how many times we've been driving along, like, <laughs> oh, I forgot to do that, right? Or, yeah. you know, oh man, I really like, that was that idea I had last week. And you're like, but you still don't write it down. So the system gives you a place to just dump that all. Um, and then later on, I, you know, I review it once a week and go, okay, you know what? That's a really good idea. I want to kind of shortlist that. Um, so first it, it, it really helps by just getting it all out of your head and giving you the yeah. comfort. And it's a de-stressor. It's like to know that you've captured it, whether it's something For you need sure. to do, a, a thank you letter you need to send. Um, so it's a big de-stressor for me. Um, but then you can kind of at least put it into a system. And then the next thing um, that I do is I look at, and this is something that I worked on 10 years ago. I wrote a book called Total Focus because when I got out of the military, um, I was one of the few SEALs that kind of got out mid-career. And so I had a ton of opportunity open to me, you know, being a, like a marketable SEAL out yeah. of, you know, fresh out of the Navy. I had tons of opportunity, defense industry, startups, you name it. And it was like, what do I focus on, right? And I was a yeah. mess. And so what I also I would say is having develop a vision for your life, right? And think short, medium, long-term. Um, there's many ways to do this, right? It's to think about your obituary when you're, you're dead and gone. Right. Like, what do you want people to remember you about? Or what do you, um, you know, what do you want to accomplish in life? And so once you, once you kind of set that vision, it's like, it's like my dad saying, Hey, we're going to sail around the world, but first goal is get to Australia. Hmm. So you plotted that, that destination. And um, in this case, it's your like life destination. And then as these opportunities come up, do the opportunities kind of support me getting to what I want to do yeah. or getting to the destination. Right. And it becomes, once you do the hard work there, then it becomes very easy. What's a, what's a, distracting opportunity and what's kind of a supporting opportunity. Um, and, and look, I am every year I, I, I spend a couple of days by myself um, and, and do like a retreat by myself to figure out mm-hmm. what my next kind of short, medium, long-term plans are. And it changes, it changes. Life happens. People die, relatives die, friends die. Um, you know, no one gets out unscathed. I, I got yeah. news for you. Um, <laughs> Yeah. And so, um, think, you know, look, COVID happened to us all, right? I was running a much larger business. I had a subscription box business. Um, I had had some really challenge, challenging issues with growth, like high growth, not a good team in place, and was dealing with that. Then COVID hit, and uh, I saw our supply chain get blown up overnight. So I ended yeah. up selling the company. Um, I retain the media business and I'm kind of like rebuilding the media company now. Um, and then was thinking, okay, what do I do next? Right. And so now I'm, 
I'm going away to figure out, um, right. you know, really what I want to do long term. I knew that I wanted to take an opportunity to go on offense as quickly as possible, having got that business sold to our competitor. Okay, how do, when everyone is in defense, how do I be offense right now? And then we decided to do kids vitamins and, and launched uh, Tiger Gummies officially last month. Uh, because we saw opportunity in health and wellness and uh, in a kind of to distill it further, saw an opportunity in, in children's vitamins where it was a yeah. um, good category served by a, a bunch of bigger brands that are kind of out of, out of touch with the modern consumers is our, is our philosophy anyway. Gotcha. Um, but I didn't want to run it. I knew I didn't want to be the CEO. So I found my, I off, I offered the job to my old, my old CMO, all the, and she said, yeah, I'm into it. So, um, Love it. but my point, my point is we've, to make your longer answer longer, um, <laughs> you know, you've got to, you've got to have that, that plan and know that it may change, you know, you may get married, you may have kids, um, you may sell a business, you may find another opportunity, but you always, the one kind of constant is you have to have that strategy in place and that plan because that to me that really um creates that kind of true north for your vision and so when you see an opportunity uh for example i had uh, a couple years ago i had somebody come to me and said hey i'm i'm building a nationwide chain of shooting ranges and i want you to be involved i'm going to make you a partner and this and that i'm like that's like totally opposite direction yeah. of what i'm doing right now I don't care if you're paying me and giving me equity. I just don't want to do it. It doesn't support right. my the vision, my, my vision and, and the direction I'm heading. And it's going to be a distraction. Like it's going to be a distraction. Now, if somebody had a said, you know, something very different, um, in alignment with your vision. Yeah. Maybe it was like a media business or something I'm like, Oh, that that's supportive. Like I'm going to learn things. That's going to, that's going to help me with my current kind of path. Uh, but it's not a complete departure. And so that, that I think is the, is the important thing to think about when, when people are, are kind of choosing that and look, you know, try things out and, and experiment, but I've no, I don't know one person that started out with three, four different opportunities and did them all at once and was successful. Like it's, sure. it usually ends up in, in disaster. Um, and only later when you have, the capacity back to the Elon Musk example, you know, billion dollars buys you a lot of capacity and a lot of talent to go like pursue different yeah. things. And Big yeah, time. once you get, once you get a little bit further along, you can do some, some things like that. Like I'm, I'm doing a little bit of that now, right? I started yeah. this vitamin company. I'm not in charge. I'm, I raised the money. I put my own money in and I'm the owner. Yeah. I'm not the CEO. Right. Um, so, and I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing now. Like I'm, I've got a pretty good life. Um, I got great kids, but I'm like, okay, what am I doing? What do I want to do the next, you know, five, 10, 15 years? Right. 